Anyone who takes insulin should know about emergency glucagon and you should have a prescription for it. You should fill that prescription. You should also tell your friends and family where your glucagon is and when to use it. Okay, that's a lot to learn. Let's dig in. I have given myself glucagon on several occasions instead of eating food because I knew I would need so much food to deal with that low blood sugar. Giving myself the glucagon treatment was so much more relieving and made me feel safe instantly. I knew I was gonna be okay because I had that glucagon now in my system. Glucagon is a naturally occurring hormone in the human body that tells your liver to release stored sugar. In people who take insulin for type one or type two diabetes, your body's natural glucagon management is totally disrupted. It isn't working right. So when your blood sugar starts dropping, your body doesn't naturally tell your liver to release stored glucose the way it should. That means your blood sugar continues to drop and you have to eat food or potentially suffer the consequences of severe hypoglycemia, severe low blood sugar. Learn more about managing low blood sugars in my newest book, how to stop overeating during low blood sugars. Severe low blood sugar can include having a seizure, losing consciousness, and dying. Low blood sugars are really scary, and glucagon is supposed to help protect us from those severe lows. If you are unconscious, if you're having a seizure, you can't chew or drink food to treat the low blood sugar, right? So glucagon is supposed to be something that friends or family or emergency technicians give to you. And that hormone tells your liver to instantly release stored sugar, bringing your blood sugar back up and hopefully saving your life. Today, we have these single step glucagon treatment tools. And this has made it so much easier for your loved ones, your friends, to give you glucagon in an emergency. Some people are even giving themselves emergency glucagon because these new tools are so easy to use. Today's glucagon tools are not really intended for mild low blood sugars. You're gonna treat the low, but you're gonna probably go high too. So these are really intended for severe lows or an impending severe low where you know you have way too much insulin on board and you need help basically soaking up that insulin with a lot of glucose. Here's a look at today's single step glucagon treatment tools. The Gvoke Hypopen. Gvoke is made by Zeris Pharmaceuticals. So this is kind of like an EpiPen. This one is just pretend, okay? They're meant to eliminate that entire needle. If you have a family member who's terrified of needles, but they need to give you an injection of glucagon, that could be an obstacle for them. This Hypopen, all you have to do is press it to your body and it delivers the injection. So you never see the needle. Pretty awesome. Gvoke makes multiple types of glucagon tools. This one comes in a pouch. In that pouch is a pre-filled syringe. So this is a manual injection. If I remove this protective plastic device, I can take the cap off here and push all of this glucagon. You'll see it's a very small amount, one milligram. Then I'd remove the cap, inject this into my thigh or the thigh of a person, and then push the plunger down to deliver the glucagon. I actually have an empty one that I have used on myself. You can see that's a pretty good needle, but that's because it needs to get to the muscle. If you deliver glucagon in fatty tissue, like an insulin injection, it's not gonna be absorbed as quickly. Getting it to the muscle means it's absorbed much more quickly to your body, that means it can tell your liver that much more quickly that it needs to release stored glucose to bring your blood sugar back up. Another pen option is Zegalog. Zegalog is the same idea. It works like an EpiPen. It removes that entire interaction with the needle so you never have to see it. Zegalog also comes in a pre-filled syringe just like Gvoke. Here's one of the most unique types of glucagon today. This is Baxemi. This is is a nasal spray, which eliminates any need for any type of injection at all. You basically hold it right in your nose or the person who's having the severe low blood sugar and then push this and it blasts a spray of glucagon 
into your nasal cavity that eventually gets to your bloodstream. It's just as fast as taking an injection. For many people who care about you and might be the ones giving you glucagon, not having to handle anything with a needle could eliminate an obstacle, right? It could make it that much easier for them to help you. So what are the side effects of using glucagon? The first side effect is obviously that your blood sugar is going to rise. Vaxime uses three milligrams of glucagon. That's the largest dose. Zegalog and Gvoke are one milligram doses. For most people, one milligram could be plenty. Both dosages are supposed to be enough to bring an adult up from severe hypoglycemia. There are dosages for children. They simply don't need as much glucagon to treat a severe low blood sugar. Some people react differently to different types of glucagon. I've heard many people say that Baxemi gives them extreme headaches and severe nausea. But I've also met people who have severe nausea after taking Gvoke or Zegalog. Everybody's a little different. I've given myself Gvoke on multiple occasions and I've never had any side effect except a spike in my blood sugar, which is what I wanted. You should expect after taking glucagon for any reason to have stubborn high blood sugars for a day or several. That's because you just delivered this hormone that tells your liver to dump all that glucose. It's gonna take a little while to get out of your system. If you were experiencing severe hypoglycemia, being a little high for a day or two is not the worst thing, right? Let your body recover from that low in the safest environment possible and work with your healthcare team to figure out what kind of support you need after experiencing a severe low blood sugar. You might also need emergency glucagon if you suddenly start puking the meal you just ate. If you took insulin for that meal and now that insulin is on board but you puke up all the food you just ate and you can't keep food or drink down to soak up that insulin, emergency glucagon could be the only thing that's going to prevent you from having a severe low blood sugar or seizure. Another reason you might need emergency glucagon, you took the wrong amount of insulin or you took the wrong type of insulin. If you've ever mixed up your insulin pens, you are not alone. I have done that. I have taken 10 units of the wrong insulin when I meant to take 10 units of long acting and I took 10 units of rapid acting. I would have had to eat a lot of bowls of cereal to soak up all that rapid acting insulin. Instead, I was able to give myself glucagon. That eliminated my fear of severe hypoglycemia. I still had to watch my blood sugar for the entire rest of the day, but I knew that I was really gonna be okay because I had glucagon in my system and I had another glucagon pen to give myself if I needed to. Another reason to give yourself glucagon or for someone else to give it to you is if you feel like you are going to pass out, even if you might be able to eat food, the low feels so severe that giving yourself glucagon is the only way you really feel like you're going to be safe. And that's okay if you have it, use it. Glucagon can start raising your blood sugar within five minutes after taking it. It is faster than food and it's telling your liver to release a lot of stored sugar. I've had times in my life where I wish I had emergency glucagon. One time I wish I had it and it would have made a huge difference was when I was eight months pregnant with my first child. We just had Christmas dinner. I had over 10 units of rapid acting insulin in my system. When we got home, I said, something's not right. I puked for about an hour and I can't even keep a glucose tab down without vomiting again. It turned out I had norovirus, but I didn't have any emergency glucagon. This was actually a long time ago before these single step tools existed. Instead, my husband had to drive like crazy to the ER, which was 35 minutes away. I was trying the whole time to nibble one glucose tab. I could not do it without puking. If I had had emergency glucagon, I could have given myself glucagon, not have to worry about the impending terrible low blood sugar, and then we could have driven calmly to the ER where I would have gotten IV fluids and IV glucose and everybody could have just been calm. Fortunately, I did get to the ER before all that insulin drove me into a seizure. I did not lose consciousness, I did not have a seizure, but it was really scary. People often think that if you've never passed out from a low blood sugar, you don't really need glucagon. I got news for you. It's really handy to have on board and you want to already have it even though you thought you were never going to need it. Don't wait till that moment when you really wish you had it to think, oh man, I should go 
Fill that prescription for glucagon. Fill it now. Fill it before you actually need it. If you take insulin for any type of diabetes, ask your doctor for a prescription for one of today's single step emergency glucagon tools. Make sure you're asking them for GVOC, Zegalog, or Baxini. I also teach you how to manage insulin during exercise to prevent lows during your next workout in exercise with type one diabetes.